do, do. It's an off-colored remark. It was highly inappropriate. No such thing. Hi, folks. It's a Tuesday in the great state of Georgia. How you is? Hey, what a thunderstorm, Dallas. Where were you? You weren't here for it. Nope. Yep, we had her on though there. Yeah. I, dude. Usually they come and they stick around 10, 15 minutes and they bolt. This fucking, this thing was a, it was a loitering. It was a vagrant. <laughs> I'm guessing its name was Otis. It, dude, the fucking house was shaking. I mean, and the rain, I look out, I, yeah, I know folks, I'm talking about the weather. I'm 96 years old, what are you gonna do? I fucking look up my back, back yard. I have a, sh a shed out there with a, you know, a cement platform that's about six inches that you step up on to go into the shed. That was covered. I mean, what the fuck? And uh, I mean, I've seen some serious, the thunder down here is different. It shakes the friggin' house. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's fucking great. I love that. My dog, anybody farts a mile away, she starts yapping. <laughs> Thunderstorm fucking out like a light. If same with fireworks. I don't understand it. Yet somebody next door coughs and she goes off. I'm thinking about putting her down. Fucking asshole. Five percent remaining. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is this? Oh my goodness! That's my iPad, folks. Says you know I dropped the put the sound drops on there and all kinds of horse shit. Um, you know the show is uh, eleven years old if you count the first days I started doing it in the basement without the visual, just the pure podcast. You know, you put it in a file and send it out there. Um, yeah, Rob Sprant's the guy who got me into this. He's got a great podcast. I can't think of the name of it now. Uh, glory hole seriously well that might be somebody else's I, I think it might be his. anyways i'm gonna thank him for getting me into this because this has come in mighty handy folks since i was diagnosed with uh, osteoporosis <laughs> anyhow uh yeah tuesday might as well get uh get to this before my ipad runs the fuck out nice tense tuesday uh, so as you know, the big talk is what, folks? Well, there's a couple things. Again, I'll say it again. It's worth repeating. Do not get distracted away from the assassination thing. Because compared to the who's going to be the nominee for the Democrats, that's fucking small potatoes. They try to kill P Trump. And it's very obvious to me, and I'll go out on a limb because I've been right on these big things like five out of five times in the last two years. Um, they won't admit it. They'll have the hearings and all that shit, but you and I will know it. They kill the guy who does the shooting. That's how they do it. Take him out so he can't yap. And uh, did you guys watch the, the, the guy, the, the sci scientist with his audio analysis and shit? Wasn't that fascinating and hard to argue, would you say? I'm just saying, I got my eye on that more than I do the Democrat. Buh, buh, buh. But we'll cover it anyways, since that's what we do here at WG fucking LB. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so everybody's obviously talking about um, Big Joe stepping down. We, most of us knew it was going to happen, and um, no surprise here. Uh, matter of fact, if you remember, during the primary debates, my boy, and he's been quiet lately, and I hope like Dallas, like you said, uh, we both predicted he, he should be in a cabinet position. He's just so goddamn smart. Not only smart, he's a He's the best communicator out of all of them, I really think. Uh, and he's pissed about the media being slanted. <laughs> and he, very eloquent the way he says it. But remember, he called out uh, the Democrats' bullshit when he said this during the Rep Republican presidential debates back in whenever. To the Democrat Party. End this farce that Joe Biden is going to be your nominee. We know he's not even the president of the United States. He's a puppet for the managerial class. So have the guts to step up and be honest about who you're actually going to put up so we can have an honest debate. Biden should step aside, end his candidacy now, so we can see whether it's Newsom or Michelle Obama or whoever else. All right, Just tell us the truth so we can have an honest debate. <laughs> Ambassador. But, but you don't have opening? No. But why not? <laughs> I love it. And did you hear jerk off, uh, who was that, the Lester Holt or somebody? The minute he started doing it, uh, uh, your time is up. You, you can feel the fucking, even back then. 
Uh, you know, he was the best guy. He's around. still around. We're gonna see a lot of him. Oh, my teeth are getting like fucking hillbilly elegy, or should I say, algae? Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking coffee. But I gotta drink loads. This is ridiculous. Anyways, that was Ramaswamy calling it, and uh, it's funny because I put up, you know, I put. Um, crowd gave me a plug for saying it was right, and then I plugged myself. And, and of course, I, and I knew this was coming. Oh, there's a million people saying I saw, but I go, yeah, but mine's documented. I'm on camera saying, you can look it up. That's the difference, so shut it. Snap ahead. <laughs> Not snap or head, snap ahead. Very Boston of me. <laughs> Cocaina. That's some good chill you got there. Great ass stiff. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's, uh, let's stay on this a little bit more before I told you not to <laughs> obsess with it. But it is a huge story. Uh, the Dems coup against Joe. And that, like I said, that's people who know the law and the Constitution saying what they're... And it makes sense. Once again, they're going around uh, the people's choice, which was Biden. And those delegates are his and shit. And, and like the, they were saying, you can't say, well, we're doing it because he's unfit because you're letting him run the country till January something, right? Uh, you can't have it both ways. Former President Donald Trump and his running mate, J.D. Vance, slammed the Democratic Party for leading a coup. And I'm sure um, Obama would have said coup because he said corpse instead of corps, the Marine Corps. The Marine Corps was taken back on a stretcher. Uh, for a le leading a coup against President Biden with the Ohio senator, and I like this, he sort of takes control here. This is a real vice president, saying if Biden isn't fit to run for president, he shouldn't be able to carry out the rest of his term. I'm thinking, who's running the joint right now? First of all, it's not a big deal because he was never running it. So it's probably the same jerk-offs who, who've been running it for the last four years. <laughs> but, uh, but technically and legally, you can't just go, oh, we're going to have an open process, and I don't think you can. At least that's what my degree from DeVry says. Uh, so here, here, is, uh, here is Trump and Vance for the first time, I think, sitting next to each other and being politicians. And J.D., smart as a whip. I think Trump's going to lean a lot on him. He, Trump, and rightly so, I, as much as I hate those Yale, Harvard fucking guys on the other side, they aren't, they're not dumb. And then when you get one that's on the right side, that means... He's even smarter. Yeah. And he's better than Ted Cruz because he did something with it. Anyways, let's listen to their uh, theory about the coup. Is it a coup against Joe Biden? Uh, uh, sort of, yeah. I, I think it is. I mean, look, there's a constitutional process. He almost process, jumped the in before Amendment. the president. If Joe Biden can't run for president, he can't serve as president. And if they want to take him down because he's mentally incapable of serving, invoke the 25th Amendment. You don't get to sort of do this in the most politically beneficial way for Democrats. If it's an actual problem, they should take care of it in the appropriate way. Yes, sir. Makes sense, don't it? The 25th, isn't it funny? And I'll say this again, another good point by me. The 25th Amendment has, they haven't even been brought up for the last almost four years. If you didn't use, and I understand the Republicans didn't use it on purpose because they just want to let Joe hang out to dry. I get that, and that's smart strategy. But it didn't even pop up. When Trump was in office a week, they kept saying unfit, unfit, remember? And then you got the guy who's the fucking poster boy for the 25th Amendment. Yeah. It, I mean, it's just ironic that nobody ever hardly brings it up, but now it's sort of relevant. Ask him, not me. The interview was taped Saturday before news broke Sunday that Biden was withdrawing from the 2024 general election and endorsing Vice President, yum, yum, stupid ass, Kamala Harris as the presumptive new Democratic nominee. The Ohio Senator expressed a similar uh, sentiment hours before Biden's announcement, writing on social media that if the president wasn't fit to campaign, he should not be trusted to remain in the White House. Yes, sir. Not running for re-election would be a clear admission. This is, uh, you know who talking still, right? J.D.? Uh, J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox, you waited. <laughs> Not, it's not a red sock. Not running for re-election would be a clear admission that President Trump was right all along about Biden not being mentally fit enough to serve as commander-in-chief, Vance wrote on X. There is no middle ground, he continued. 
During the interview, Trump agreed when asked by Waters of, of he would investigate, if it should say, if he would investigate the people that hid uh, Joe's Biden, uh, Joe Biden's condition. Jesus, that'll be quite the investigation, including the White House doctors who keep giving him this wonderful report. I think it's Michael Jackson's doctor who... Am I right? But uh, they'll get to the bottom of it. I'm going to find out what the hell happened here. Goddamn right, Trumpy boy. Anyways, uh, interesting, huh? So you got two things going on. Keep your eye on both things, because they would love for you to focus on one or the other. Try to, you know, chew gum and, and slap your sister at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's very important. I can't wait. I just can't wait for more of the, you know what, to come out about the shooting. I don't see enough anger out there, although we're going to show Nancy Mace. I thought it was Nancy. I was confused. This is how I know I'm old. I thought they were talking about Nancy Grace, that other hateful pig face. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, we'll show you a clip of her. She's a female congresswoman just destroying Cheadle to the point I was feeling flush for her. Oh, my God. Anyways, in business to take care of. When you're looking to boost your testosterone, you want something that actually works. Nugenics Total T is your answer. A new and improved formula with Tesner, a seriously testosterone boosting extract. You're gonna increase your vitality, add stamina, and wipe out everyday fatigue. And they forgot something, because I take this stuff. You recover quicker, less soreness. And, and they are right, more energy at the end. I used to, I go hard for most of the workout and I would kind of crash because I'm in my late hundreds. This stuff makes a difference. These are serious ingredients backed by clinical studies with hundreds of five-star reviews. It's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart for good reason. If you're not totally satisfied, Nugenics will refund you 100% of the purchase price plus shipping and handling uh, turn back the clock and feel like a younger you with Nugenics Total T Testosterone Booster with Tesnor. Get your complimentary sample now by texting Nick to 231-231 and try before you buy. That's a complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total T when you text Nick 231-231. Text now will add in a bottle of Nugenics Thermo-X, our most powerful fat incinerator on the house. That means free. Just text Nick to 231-231. That's Nugenics Total T and Nugenics Thermo X on us. Just pay shipping and handling. Texting enrolls you in recurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. It's a good product. Thank you for sponsoring the show, Nugenics. Ah. Uh, on to what I'd like to talk about for the next 10 years, which is probably what it's gonna to take to, to get to the bottom, because you know the government, you know what? I think that with the, with the internet and all this other horse shit, I think people are on to the, after so many assassinations and stuff, I think, you know, not to say the government would only be, always be a step ahead of us. Excuse me, let me take a drink of my Mountain Dew. I, 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 it, it, well, it's like cocaine, there's enough caffeine in here you know something make you have caffeine in you <laughs> brilliant nick brilliant <laughs> anyways this is great this is great cheetle grilled have you had the grilled cheetle it's not good oh my it's like grilled cheese only it's with turtle grilled <laughs> cheetle <laughs> uh it's not good dallas didn't like it he said a little gamey <laughs> which is everybody's complaint when they taste something they don't like little gamey well it came out of the fucking woods I didn't shoot it in the garage. Yeah, fuck stain. <laughs> Cheadle grilled. Secret Service Chief Kimberly Cheadle admitted, boy, the women are having a bad, uh, not lady, and I'm not trying to be sexist, ladies, but uh, between trying to fight men and whatever, men shouldn't be in those sports. I understand, but I'm just saying, you're having a bad couple of years here yep. with Kamala making an asshole of herself, and you know what I mean? Not to mention the fucking Maxine Waters of the world, and I'm forgetting some big ones. I'm Secret Service Chief Kimberly Cheadle admitted Monday that near assassination of Donald Trump was the agency's most, I quote her, most significant operational failure in decades, but still gave agents an A for that day. 
And let me tell you something. If that doesn't sum up the everybody gets a trophy generation, and don't tell me she wasn't part of it, and we have to hire women and minorities no matter how fucking bad they are. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody gets an A. We're all happy to protect. If this doesn't sum it all up, I don't, ladies, I know you're out there going, that's not fair. It, it is fair. There's certain things you shouldn't be in. And I said this on the show before. Gun safety doesn't go well with women. Ask Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Am I right, folks? Did I put that on X? Anyhow, um, she took a spanking today like you read about in Spanking Ugly Broads Weekly. Um, she might as well have been gagging on that mic right there. Let's listen to her opening statement today. The assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump on July 13th is the most significant operational failure of the Secret Service in decades. Who is in charge? I'm keeping him and his family in my thoughts. First of all, you're not. I would like to offer my sincerest condolences to the family of Corey Comparator. They tell you to fuck a off. Former fire chief and a hero. They don't want to hear that. Who from was you. killed in this senseless shooting. I would also like to acknowledge those who were injured in shooting. Butler, David Dutch, and James Copenhagen. And I wish them a speedy recovery. I'm sure you do. Very sincere. I would be remiss if I did not also extend my condolences on the passing of your colleague. I wish the shooter Congresswoman remiss. Sheila Jackson Lee. Oh, Sheila Jackson, Jackson Lee. Jackson Lee was always engaged Pause. in the over- We lost Sheila Jackson Lee. Remember that lovable, black, hateful woman? They had her on audio we played on the show, chewing out her white young guys that work for her. <clears throat> Excuse me. Calling them fucking idiots. and <laughs> Hateful as the day is long. But once again, and if it was a white bride, it would have been all over TV. Reverse the races, I think, was the segment. Back to Cheetle Beetle. Foresight of the Secret Service, and her passing is a great loss to this body. Oh, I can smell your... The Secret Service's solemn mission is to protect our nation's leaders. On July 13th, we failed. As a director of the United States Secret Service, I take full responsibility for any security lapse of our agency. We are fully cooperating with ongoing investigations. We must learn what happened, and I will move heaven and earth to ensure that an incident like July 13th does not happen again. What's the matter with you? Sorry. The fuck is the matter with you? I'm sorry. What's his name? What'd you say? Are you being a fucking wise guy with me? <laughs> you know what I like? She said she's going to move heaven and earth. Last time I checked, heaven was up there. It's quite a pitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a slant to get up there. So you, you're probably not going to. This way, you might slide down that way. Nice. Move heaven and earth. You couldn't even take your one assignment. They gave you a big one. You shit the bed. Heaven and earth, my ass. The embattled director's comments at a congressional hearing prompted even more Democratic lawmakers, do you hear that, Democrats, to join their Republican colleagues, well, they had to, that's how bad this was, in demanding she resign. But you, you Democrats, you created this. DEI, women in positions, ba ba ba. they shouldn't resign, that'll be sexist, and you created this fucking world. Now wallow in it. Uh, demanding she resign while well, the Cheadle, that's what it says, while well, the Cheadle refused and dug her heel. What the fuck? It sounds like a bug. The Cheadle dug its heels in and slept from December to April and then comes out and bites you in the garage. I don't know what the hell that means. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Fenway Park. I'd like to call your attention to the following American League rules. Uh, for those of you guys on Mug Club right now, stick around for the second half of the show. Everyone else go to nickdip.com to get the rest of my show, the full show, and Steven Crowder's full show, and a whole lot more. And while you're at nickdip.com, click on the tour button, and you will see that on August 9th, Jacksonville Center for the Performing Arts in Jacksonville, Florida. The next night, August 10th, the Gas South Theater in Duluth, Georgia. I can't wait. They're both nice theaters. Hope to see you guys out there. I got all kinds of weed and stuff and candy bars and fake tits. Huh? Hi. Good night, everybody.